you're at the high nipple for the more significant bits. In this video, we're going to look at another virtual device on the desktop user interface. This time, it's the Kremenko Dazzler. The Kremenko Dazzler is cited as both the board that launched the Kremenko company and the first commercial bitmapped graphics card available for microcomputers. On the IMSA 8080 replica desktop user interface, the Kremenko Dazzler is available under the virtual system device DZLR. On the CPM 2.2 system disk that comes with the IMSA 8080 replica, there are a couple of sample programs. The first is the famous Kaleidoscope. While the kaleidoscope's running, I'll use this opportunity to show you some of the tools on the window title bar. This tool here allows you to change the aspect ratio displayed for the Dazzler. The default is a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. But when looking at videos of real Kromenko Dazzlers on YouTube, it appeared that when the display is shown on an NTSC a television, that it's slightly more compressed vertically than four to three. So I've included the nearest possible aspect ratio I could to look like the real thing. And then the third choice is a complete one-to-one -one aspect ratio with square pixels. The next tool lets you go full screen. And I'm a little disappointed that Google have been playing around with the full screen API and the image is no longer centered. I'm going to have to go back into my code and see if I can get it centered again. When you go full screen, it does preserve the aspect ratio you most recently selected. So right now we're looking at four to three. But if we're looking at square pixels, one to one ratio, then that's what we get when we go full screen. The next tool lets you take a screenshot and it saves what's currently displayed in the Dazzler as a PNG file on the local disk of the machine running the browser. The other controls, as per all the other windows, allow you to disconnect the web socket that the uh, desktop user interface is running the Dazzler over uh, back to the ESP32 microcontroller and the final one is just the window minimize icon. Let's look at a couple of the other demonstrations that are available for the Dazzler. On the system disk is a copy of a chess game. Micro chess, which displays the output on the Dazzler as well. The final demonstration comes on a companion disc from the Kremenko SIM machine in Z80 Pack. There's, there are two discs, the Dazzler Graphics disc and the Dazzler Stuff disc. Dazzler Stuff just contains a source code for the kaleidoscope and another copy of MicroChess. The Dazzler Graphics disc contains a number of demonstrations. The most interesting one is G-Demo. Just a note here that this will only run if you're running the IMSA sim in Z80 mode.
Let's have another look at that in full screen glory. I hope you've enjoyed that look at the Kremenko Dazzler on the IMSE 8080 Replica desktop user interface. If you've liked this video, please subscribe and be notified of when new videos are released showing other features of the IMSE 8080 Replica.